Okay, it says an asteroid whose mass is 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 times the mass of Earth revolves in a circular orbit around the Sun at a distance that is twice Earth's distance from Sun. So the asteroid's mass will be, first let's say what's Earth's mass, that is 5.97, sorry, 5.97 times 10 to the power 24 kg and distance from earth to sun which is also one astronomical unit that is 146 49.6 million kilometer that is 146 into 10 to the power 6 kilometer or 149.6 into 10 to the power 9 meters so that's there and Sun's mass, which we will need, is 1.99 into 10 to the power 30 kg. So these are the information that we need. Also gravitational constant in standard unit, that is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11, um, just in standard unit. So that's there. Uh, in order to find the first part, calculate the period of revolution of the asteroid in years. Uh, we can use Kepler's law which says sorry t square over r or that is the distance so you have des cube equals to 4 pi square over gm so t is the revolution of the planet or asteroid in this case so revolution time that is uppercase t and des is the distance from the object around which it's revolving which is sun in this case or maybe it could be another star so that one is the distance is des time of revolution is t and g is g of course gravitational constant and m is the mass of the center object which is sun in this case so we get t to be 4 pi square into des cube over g m m is uh, m s now here d s there is a little mistake though d s is the asteroids this asteroids distance from from the sun is twice the distance of earth so if we write instead of d s what we should write maybe d a s distance from the asteroid to the sun so that is das so das is equal to 2 of des so this is das and our das will be 2 of des and des is the distance from sun to earth which is this one so that's what we have to plug in into this equation and once we do that we get what I got I will get T in seconds and so everything is there DAS is of course this one times 2 and MS is Sun's mass which is this one and G is this one so what I got in seconds is 8.903 into 10 to the power 7 in seconds so if I want to convert it into year I have to divide by 903 into 10 to the power 7 divided by first let's convert it into hours so that will be 3600 then into days which will be into 424 then sorry in one day so yeah the in days so that will be multiplied and then into year which will be divided by multiplied by 365 day, days a year so once we do that we will get that in year and what I got is uh, I have done the calculation elsewhere I'm just writing the results here but please do check the calculation so 2.823 years so that is the time of revolution we have been asked to find the time of revolution in years earth year basically and the second part says what is the ratio of the kinetic energy of the asteroid to the kinetic energy of earth so that's good ratio of kinetic energy 
of earth is let's do that first we know that is g m and m m s m e so mass of mass of earth mass of sun multiplied divided by 2 times the distance from sun to earth that is the formula if we derive we derived it in the previous problem so that is the formula we can directly use here for um, to calculate the kinetic energy at any any location uh, of an of an object that is revolving around another object so in this case it's earth and sun so this is the distance from earth to sun des sorry so that's there and these are to the uh, the two masses so when i find the kinetic energy of the astro asteroid it will be gm s and times 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 into me because the mass is 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 into me earth's mass times 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 that's the mass of the asteroid and then divided by 2 into 2 into des because it is twice as far than from earth to sun so that's there so we need to find the ratio oh, sorry yep that's correct so we need to find the ratio which is kea divided by k e earth so what we get here is g of course m s and then times 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 m e divided by uh, 4 times d e s and here we get just g m s m e and 2 d e s so g m s m e times 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 4 into d e s and multiplied by 2 into d e s divided by g m s m e so these things get cancelled and 2 here 2 here 4 here so that can get get 4 on the top 4 in the denominator so gets cancelled and ds ds gets cancelled so all that's remained uh, remained is 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 those that is the ratio of kinetic energy of uh, the asteroid time uh, over the earth the kinetic energy of ratio of the asteroid over the ratio, kinetic ratio of earth is 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 so of course the asteroids one is much less it should be the ratio of the kinetic energy of the asteroid to the to the earth basically <laughs> i said ratio twice sorry